Welcome back to Pauly TV. I'm Robert Blanche and we're here at North Ipswich Reserve for this round two of the Roars pre-season roadshow. And today, the Roar take on an Ipswich Invitational 11 here at a sunny and cool Ipswich on a field which is in better condition than last year and of course in front of a large Ipswich crowd. It's that time of year again when the whole of Ipswich come together as one to support the Ipswich Invitational as they take on back-to-back A-League champions, the Brisbane Roar, here at the North Ipswich Reserve. Ipswich Invitational coach Stuart Drinkles will have had little or no time with his side, but will have a game plan with a high tempo pressure on the ball and the visitors. And his team lineup certainly complements that style of play. One thing for certain, the boys from Ipswich won't lie down. Brisbane Raw coach Rado Vidicic will be starting to ramp up the pressure on the pre-season and will be looking to see who is putting their hand up early in the campaign and will be aware the opposition have a reputation for having a go. So he'll have to have his side ready to fire from the get-go or they might just get caught. Acton out short. Bratton lays it back. Raw comfortable just to keep possession. Clips forward. Brown wins the challenge. Gets it back. Pardaloo turns away. Great searching ball. Enrique on the run. Clips it inside Barisha. Around the back and oh, puts his shot. Somehow wide of the post. Purdy goes long. Good defensive header. Visconti. Oh, balls bounced over the top. Enrique keeps it going. Barisha's always oh, first touches let him down. Oh, Switch had a little bit more time than that. Barisha. Looks to take them on. Doesn't work. Brown. Visconti back for Brown. Rolls it back. Start all over again. Acting at the back. There's the ball. Hardaloo. Rolls it for Smith. Gets it back. Bratton starts to go forward. Guerrier with the overlap. Great ball. They're in behind. Slides it across. It just beats everyone. Brown. Bratton. Back for Corey Brown. Been busy in this first half. Acton. Smith inside, Bratton. Picks out Visconti. Brown, little bit of space. Plays the perfect ball through the channel for Enrique. Enrique cuts it back. Poraya puts the ball in the back of the net to give the Raw a lead here in the 15th minute. And the volcanoes are going off in the background. Ball forward. Gary are at muscles. Ball clip back. Smith. Gary. Again gets caught up. Oh, good play on the far side. Shot comes in. Well over the bar. Back can go short again. Smith forward, Bratton, Pardaloo, keeps it coming, good challenge from Brown, Visconti, past Pardaloo, he finally gets it, Visconti, looking for options, cuts inside, makes his own great threaded ball through, 
once again Ipswich enough numbers good defending calm on the ball too many black shirts Brown Pardaloo misses out in the middle of the ground great through ball Acton's beaten and saves the goal mouth the ball goes out for a goal kick Pardaloo changes direction Borussia Visconti Brown slips gets his composure back Borussia oh great vision ball through and Enrique just couldn't get a touch Pervy does well Brown Pardaloo with the shoot and Purdy down handy to his right and holds it with Berisha in attendance Purdy goes long again the ball drops Brown gets there ahead of his man gets around Drager ball's been nicked Pardaloo oh, Bratton slips over Here's a chance for Ipswich. Ball slips through. Drager across the face. Taylor! Equalises for the Ipswich select side in the 23rd minute. One all here at North Ipswich Reserve. It's the first goal against the Roar in this competition for the boys from Ipswich. Purdy goes long. Again, Roar win the ball in the air. Enrique Visconti takes on his man cuts it back Enrique shoots straight into the bread basket of Steve Purdy and goals for Ipswich Enrique comes away with it Bratton early Visconti first time Enrique's on the end of it for Borussia Borussia and again Purdy gets just enough onto it to deny the raw striker Borussia turns away lays it back Pardalu Brown Visconti first time inside gives possession away Ipswich look to break quickly too much pressure Enrique Borussia who gets it back shoots and again drags his shot across the face of goal good play from Ipswich that clips into the box and Acton comes safe hands good control of his penalty area looking to play football the pressure oh, he's, come, he's come away with it somehow he's a genius balls flicked forward into the channel cut back deep shots on and the shot goes well over the bar Smith inside Pardaloo Brown Seen a lot of the ball. Oh, good turn, Rocky Visconti. He's in behind, gets the goal line, cuts it back, and oh, saw everybody. Now for a throw in for Ipswich. Pardaloo in there, just enough of a toe. Square ball for Brown. Brighton. Garia wins the header. Hardaloo back for Garia. Nice tight play. Ball inside Berisha. Turns. Can't give him that much space. Keeps going. Gets onto his left foot. Shoots. And again, this time, drags it wide of the other post. Ball played deep. Well contested. On both sides, Pardaloo away. 
Which, which is no no time on the ball. Forced errors. Barisha, one on one. Clips it past Purdy and puts it into the side netting when you'd expect him to score. Visconti. Bratton. Enrique lets it run. Oh yeah, inside Bratton. Grisha. Clever turn. Enrique gets there, gets around the back and clips it in at the far post. No, says the assistant referee. Ooh, that's a very, very tight call. I thought he was onside. Headed clear by Smith. Ball comes down. Comes back into the box again. You will get ahead on it. Visconti. Does a big circle. Gets it wide. Brown gives it back. Back out for Brown. Hardly. Clips it forward. Borussia reads the touch. Brings it down. Clips it over the keeper. And makes it 2-1 in the 61st minute. He's had enough chances. He's finally put one in the back of the net. That'll give him confidence. Enrique. Back for Brown. Lays it inside Bratton. Brown. Hardaloo with the run. Cuts it back. Goes past everyone. And smashed into the back of the net. By Lambadaridis to make it 3-1 in the 66th minute. Enrique. Bratton. Tried to force it for Borussia. Cleared upfield. Draga. Spins, turns and runs away from the defenders. C tries to cut it inside. Flag goes up. Free kick to Ipswich on the edge of the box. Guerrier with the card. Ipswich a chance. Drag one back. Cuts a floor. Floats to the back post. Couldn't direct his header on goal. Great play from the home side. Clipped in. Stick, strong defending. In again and again, repelled by the raw defence. Good pressure by Lambrotherides. Enrique for Lambrotherides out wide in some space. Gets his head up, cuts inside. Slides to the back post. Barisha, couple of touches, puts it in the back of the net, leaves three in his wake, and makes it 4 1 in the 74th minute here at the North Ipswich Reserve. Hardaloo, strong on the ball. Bratton, first time out. Enrique for Brown. Cuts inside his man. Enrique. Tries to get a ball through, cleared up the field. Again, Ipswich in there contesting. Guerrier. Raw look to attack down wide. Ball cut across. Borussia just couldn't get a toe on it. Hardly drops it for Enrique. Marisha, Padalu, good save. Oh, and Barisha again, outside of the netting. Brighton. Padalu doesn't get there. It's which start to get forward, looking to get numbers in the box. Again, and it's a penalty this time. Let's have a look. There, yeah, no real chance of getting the ball there. Just cut straight across him. 
Hunt over the ball. He, oh, hits where it joins the crossbar to the post. Goes out, Garrier. Bratton. Garia gives it away. Which trying to play the way out of trouble. Now it's a 50 50. Raw win it in the park, middle of the park. Enrique gets the ball over the keeper. Gets clattered into. He doesn't look well. Grusha is possessed. Given away cheaply, though. Bratton turns in the space, looking for Brucia, finds him. Oh, cleared off the line. Bratton fakes the shoot, drives in again, cuts it across, again, headed away. Pardaloo. Bratton back for Pardaloo. It looks the crown across and again. The ball cleared off the line and that's the final whistle which sees this Brisbane Raw pre-season match and Brisbane Raw 5 Ipswich Invitational 1. That was a fantastic at least 60 minutes you guys actually played as well as and competed so well with the Raw today. I thought we did exceptionally well uh, you know it's pretty hard with the boys backing up on the Friday night uh, we knew that after 65, 70 minutes, the wheels would start to fall off a little bit. It'd be a bit more difficult. But, you know, we scored a good goal. You know, we could have had a second one with a missed penalty. You know, 5-1. I mean, the Raw dominated the game. There's no question about that. But I thought our, our boys stood strong and uh, gave a good performance today. Changed the tactic uh, from a lot of sides that play against the Raw. Uh, you came out and you put it to them. You put pressure on the ball, put pressure on them. And most sides sit back and try to absorb, which I don't think you can do against the rule. Yeah, no, look, we, we were just worried about the way we were going to play today. We knew that, the, you know, they are going to play some sort of 4-3-3 four, three, three formation, you know. They play with two sixes and a ten today rather than having an eight. So, and that sort of suited us, you know. We wanted to score goals. Um, I think if you absorb pressure, you're going to concede goals eventually, you know. We've got to be realistic. We're Division One players. You know, a few of the boys could probably step up to Premier League level. Um, a, a few of them probably couldn't as well. So we had a, a good mix of um, boys from three different clubs that all contributed well. So, you know, I was quite happy with the performance for the, the 65 anyway, definitely. A great representation and um, a, lot of a lot of credit should go to the three clubs and, of course, the Ipswich Football Federation and the council and everyone involved in bringing this game together today down in the Ipswich. Great crowd, great atmosphere and a great, a great game of football. Yeah, you know, certainly the three clubs have all contributed and all helped out as, as much as they could, you know, the Ipswich City Council as well. And it's a good event, you know, promoting football in the region, you know. You know Ipswich is desperate to get a club in this Premier League, you know, for next for next season, you know, and it's going to be very difficult to get in there. So we're putting on these types of events, attracting players, if they play in Ipswich, they'll get the opportunity to play against the Raw every year. So I think it's we're stepping in the right direction, you know. It's, it's, been, it's been difficult for a couple of years in Ipswich, but hopefully things will change soon. Rado, um, pushed a little harder today by the Ipswich side. They came out and uh, put pressure on the ball and, and put pressure on the players, which I suppose is something that you're really looking forward to as the pre-season starts to unwind. No, definitely. I mean, uh, when you come to Ipswich, you know that uh, they're going to be hard, they're going to be fair, but they'll never give up, and, and that is exactly what we needed. Uh, first half a little bit sloppy at the back, uh, conceded a goal, had a few chances, uh, unfortunately missed them, but then second half I think we showed that we can create even more and then score a few more goals. Definitely got into what we call your groove in the second half, started to knock the ball around nicely and, and pick the passes as opposed to maybe in the first half trying to force that final pass. Yeah, yeah, unfortunately first half maybe a little bit of uh, excitement uh, got into the uh, blood and uh, second half uh, definitely the selection of passes was better um, as I said we created quite a few chances and uh, should have scored a few more. Doesn't get any easier um, it's a Thursday night out at Peninsula Power always a big crowd out there and uh, a good surface to play football on and I'm sure they're not going to give you any space and time on the ball either. 
No, no, we are looking really forward to that game. Uh, we're going to bring uh, several first team players to train in, train this morning. Um, you know, so we're going to rest some of these younger boys. And I'm really looking forward to that game. Um, after that, we've got a uh, couple more games and then we're heading off to Tumworth playing against uh, Newcastle Jets. So uh, hopefully by that time, we'll have a few first team players back through injury and uh, we can start now looking to finalise that the starting 11. Matt, uh, your first team debut today, starting spot, and yep. uh, played very, very well, I thought. Um, had to make some good saves, and um, you used your feet a lot, which is something that's yep. uh, attributed to the rule. Yeah, that's right. You know, we're um, as a goalkeeper, we're taught to play it from the back in any sort of situation, so it was a bit tough on this pitch tonight, but no excuses. You know, both teams had to deal with it, and... You know, I'm just, I've been working real hard on my footwork, so I'm you know, pretty happy to see it come off in, in a game. Had one scored against you. Um, doesn't happen very often in the pre-season matches. Boy, took this goal well, though. Yeah, uh, yeah. You, can't, uh, you can't begrudge him that. No, it was a good goal. Um, you know, we, I think we gave the ball away in our own half, which is, you know, it's going to happen sometimes when we're playing out. And, uh, you know, but we've got to learn to sort of, um, you know, put those fires out when they occur. And, you know, he took his goal well. And I think it's the first, as you said, the first goal that someone scored for Ipswich Invitational against us, so good on him. Do you see these sorts of games as um, a good showpiece for you to, to show what you've got to try and stake a claim? Well, I look at it as, you know, I'm not given too many chances to play, so i just got to take them, you know, I suppose with both hands. Um, and, you know, i I just got to go out there and, you know, play my own game, not, not, not sort of worry about that too much. And, you know, I'm sure if I don't think about that, I'll play a, you know, a good game and just focus on what I can do. And, you know, the selection, will sort of look after itself, you know, that's up to Rado and, um, you know, I can't control that, so I'll just go out there and play my own game, as I said.